join kids hat family Is everything fine Tofu? No. How can everything be fine? We were in the gym class when Josh and his friends came to me and started making fun of me. They made fun of you? Why? Because they all are taller and faster than me. Well, they should be. They are much older to you Tofu. Everybody knows that, but it was so embarrassing, Tia. What are you going to do now? What can I do? Hmm. Well, let's get your mind off this nonsense. I read something interesting in school today. Should I tell you? Hmm. I guess. One day, a horse saw a snail in the meadow. Look at you. You are so slow. Hmm. The snail did not like the way the horse spoke to him, but he decided to ignore his mean comments. But the horse went on and on. Where are you going? And when do you think you'll reach there? I don't understand why you need to make fun of me all the time. Well, look at yourself. It takes you so long to get from one place to another. I would run miles in that time. I suggest we both get on with our business and day. You know, I have an idea. Let's race. The snail thought about it for a moment. He had a plan. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's do that. How about this Sunday morning? Okay, we will race this Sunday. After the horse had left, The snail gathered all the other snails and told them what had happened. He also told them his plans. Everybody agreed and when Sunday came, they met very early in the morning. Okay everyone, spread out from the starting point of the race till the ending point. Everyone hide all along the race track. And so the snail spread out. When it was time for the race, the horse arrived. Soon the race started. The horse took off striding. After a while, he looked down and he was surprised to see the snail right in front of him. How did you get here? I must run faster. 
And so the horse started running. After some time he looked down and yet again saw a snail ahead of him. How is this possible? How can you be ahead of me? I will run even faster. The horse started running even faster. When he looked down again after some time, he saw the snail there again. This is impossible. I will run the fastest I can. Now the horse took off as fast as he could. As he neared the finishing line, he looked down, but he saw a snail crossing the finishing line. Tired and humbled, the horse gave up. I am so sorry. I underestimated you and made fun of you. Please forgive me for my arrogance. All the snails who had hidden along the race course and fooled the horse into believing that they were the same snail that he was racing heard this and laughed quietly from their hiding spots. What a wonderful story, Tia! Isn't it? I loved it too. And you know what, Tia? I know what to do about Josh and his friends. I'm feeling so much better. Oh really? What will you do? I won't get into a fight or get upset by what they say. I will just use my brains instead of muscles. Well. That sounds like a good idea to me, Tofu. Thanks, Tia. I'm going to my friend's house to make a plan. Bye. Bye, Tofu. to do my homework, Tia? Tofu, it's dinner time and you haven't completed your homework yet? I hope you know that your teacher will be really angry. I will do it after this cartoon, Tia. But please help me so that I can finish it fast. You have been watching TV all day. You should get up and do your homework first. My hand has been hurting since morning. I'm giving it some rest. Also, dear sister, will you please get my bag and pencil box from the room? Excuses and more excuses. He should know his priorities right. Hmm.
Where is my book? I can't find it here. Did I forget it in school? What will I tell my teacher in school? You should be more responsible, Tofu. You are a big boy now. Anyway, complete the rest of your homework at least now and be more careful next time onwards. So Tofu, let me tell you a story. In a land far away lived a hard-working and kind trader. Mostly, he traded in salt. He also had a horse that was very lazy and always avoided work. The trader used him to carry sacks of salt from one town to the other. Here, let me load these sacks up and let's go to the town across the river to sell this salt. I am so tired today. Why do I have to work every day? I wish I could sleep throughout the day. But no, I have to carry these loads of salt and move. Come on horse! Start walking. Cross that bridge. Until then, I'll pack some food for myself. The horse was crossing the river. Suddenly, he slipped and fell into the water. As he was carrying sacks of salt on his back, the salt got wet and dissolved in the water. So when the horse got up, the sacks on his back were lighter. The horse thought to himself, Wow, this seems to be a good idea. Every time I dip in the river, the salt would dissolve and my burden could be less. I must try doing this more often. I hope Master is not watching. When the Master reached the town to sell the salt, it weighed just half of what he loaded. Thinking it might be his miscalculation, he sold whatever salt was left and returned home with his horse. The next morning, he again loaded his horse with the sacks of salt and started to pack his food. The horse yet again started walking before him and made it to the bridge. I must try the dipping trick again before master reaches here.
the trader got really confused. As the sacks started weighing lesser every time. The horse purposely started slipping into the water every day so that the sacks became lighter. One day, the trader followed the horse. and hid in the bushes. To his surprise, he noticed the horse's new trick. Oh, that's so cunning. I must teach this lazy horse a lesson soon. So the following day, instead of salt, the trader filled the sacks with cotton and tied him to the horse's back. Out of his new habit, the horse purposely fell into the river. Oh no, no! What is happening today? What is going wrong? How are these sacks getting heavier? Oh, my back hurts! What? This time, as the sacks were filled with cotton, it soaked water and became heavier. The horse dipped again and again in water, thinking to drain the salt off somehow, but all went in vain. He somehow managed to get up and cross the bridge. He sat on the ground and panted as the sacks had gotten really, really heavy. The trader laughed at him and said, Horse, I am your master. This is your work. I work very hard and worship my work. I don't make excuses or find tricks to fool others and avoid work. I must teach you to never repeat this and avoid your work. The horse learned his lesson and never tried to avoid his work again. What a wise trader! Right Tofu? He taught the lazy horse a good lesson. Come, let me give you the big bitter medicine for your hand. But hey, I can see it's totally fine now. Maybe you have forgotten about the pain. Tia, I never had any pain. I just wanted to sit and watch cartoons. I was the lazy horse today. I am sorry, Tia. I am really worried about my teacher scolding me tomorrow. Here, take your books, Tofu. I also was the trader today. I just wanted you to learn a lesson. Now you should promise me that you will always do your work and yes, 
I will help you with your homework. Oh, thank you, Tia. Please, let's finish my homework quickly. I don't want to be lazy at all. I will always finish all my work before doing anything else. I promise you that. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.